Howdy folks, it's Shane the RV Dad and I'm bringing you one of my favorite RVs that we have on the lot. Now this one was not for sale for a whole year. This one was owned by Big Bo's son. I'm sorry, Big Bo's dad. And uh, the first time we got it, I looked at this thing, I thought, man, that is slick. It's a conversion van, it'll seat seven. And just wait till you see inside. It's a, it's a shit on the Chevy chassis. It's got a heck of a motor. It's got the 6.6 .6 liter. And boy, I mean, it's got 400 horsepower. It is slick. <laughs> You'll get to wherever you're going a little bit quicker than the navigation will tell you. That's all I gotta say. Just sleek as can be. It's a 21 model on the title, but the build date uh, tells me that it could be a 2022 body. It's just sometimes when you get the uh, chassis, you have to go by the VIN number. So it's on a 2021 chassis, but I'm pretty sure you can call the company and they'll, uh, they'll tell you it was built for 2022. Just, just so slick. Now it's made by Explorer. Explorer is America's Vans, that's their little motto. And they build conversion vans. Now they've uh, they've been around since about 1980. Uh, a guy and his son Bob and Steve Kessler. Uh, they built their first van in December of 1980. Steve's travels back when he worked for Coachman uh, established good relationships with the people in the auto industry, primarily Bellman GMC in St. Louis, Missouri. The dealership owner, Ken Bellman, was immediately enthusiastic about the new Explorer van conversion and believed it would sell even with hundreds of competing models. There was just something different about an Explorer van, he said. The first one sold within a week. See, over after that, it was built in like December of 1980, the very first one. You know, after that, uh, they started building about four a week, two to four a week. And they had to, uh, they had to move to a new place uh, to expand and hire more employees. Uh, there was just something good about it. Kessler died in November of 23. He knew those who try to shortcut will never make it. They, uh, they dedicated to providing the highest quality product on the market with their credo we deliver more, not less than we promise. Explorers, customers really are the most important part of the Explorer van company. Bob wouldn't have it any other way. And I tell you, you can tell with the craftsmanship. They, uh, back when they had their, when they moved their company, they hired about a hundred craftsmen. And, uh, you know, those were all kinds of uh, wire technicians and uh, engineers and Let's see, where's my notes, my notes, my notes, what's it say? Yeah, the, I mean, they didn't know anything about craftsmanship, so they hired a... Come on, sorry about the road noise. I'm trying to read my notes here, I tried to memorize it. <laughs> Okay, more than a hundred craftsmen at Explorer oversee everything that goes into an Explorer conversion, from the wood components to seating, interior lighting, and ground effects. More than half of Explorer's workforce has been with them for more than 15 years. And that is a true statement with the company. All right, if you wanna know any more about the Explorer company, just reach out to me and I'll give you a good idea of its history. I've read it up, but I, kind of doing this from the hip here well let's walk around it and kind of talk about the details and i do have this in a uh wider mode the lens in wider mode so you can see more and uh gosh i am a ford man but chevy has the looks take a look i turned the fog lights on the ground to fix lights these are 2022 tires uh it's only got 13,000 miles with the 6.6 .6 liter motor. Now they don't make them with that motor anymore. They're all probably gonna be like the 6.0 or the 6.2 that they put like in the uh, Corvettes and stuff. But the 6.6 .6 is 
400 horsepower. It's like 401 to be exact. And this is the perfect daytime van, day trip. You know, you can, it'll seat seven. Uh, you know, if everybody just reclined, they could sleep seven. But uh, it's not meant to really be uh, overnighter except one or two people. <clears throat> now this, uh, it's, oh man, I, it's just awesome. It's a, I'm going to tell you the exact name of it. It's a 2021 Explorer. It's a limited SE and it is on the Chevrolet chassis. If I haven't mentioned that yet, I'm mentioning it again. <laughs> so we'll walk around this bad boy. I used to be a car salesman, so I, I kind of a little rusty on selling cars, but I used to be able to tell you every feature, every option. I'm just going to walk around and show you how awesome it is. We're going to look at the details. I believe those are 2022 wheels. 2022. 22 inch wheels. I'm so used to doing RVs. <laughs> we'll go inside here in a minute. Well, you know what? Let's look. Of course, you got the backup cameras and all the LED lighting. Let's take a look at this bad boy from the back. See the beauty? Super sleek. Now that back here, that will fold down. We might as well fold it down now. What I would do is I would probably get some a foam mattress. You know, those seat belts slide out of the way. Get you a foam mattress. Two people could sleep comfortably back here, no problem. Not you like the lighting, the ceiling, super nice. I wasn't gonna show you the TV till after I got out or got inside. But this is for my 260 subscribers. If you know anybody looking for this type of unit, please have share this with them. I'll show you the craftsmanship of all the leather. It's got the power running boards. Nice LED lighting. Excellent, excellent leather seating. OnStar lane keeping control. It's got the collision uh, sensors, double power seats, all kinds of bells and whistles. <laughs> Here's your back passenger capacity. Now those seats will ride up. You can get back in the back. You can walk through. I don't know if they swivel or not. Well, I, I didn't mess with the seats. Here's uh, here's the back seats. I'm gonna pop up in here. Got the air on because it's hot today. There's your TV. <laughs> There's your DVD and your controllers. And I got remotes. And then there's, uh, in here, you've got some uh, headphones for the kids. If you don't want to listen to SpongeBob driving to Florida. <coughs> Excuse me. All of it's handcrafted, put together by the people that work here and explore. Along the top, just beautiful accents. JBL sound system, Vizio TV. You know it's fancy when it's got one of those. <laughs> now all these, every single one of these windows have shades on them. So when you get ready to go to sleep, you just pull these shades down, or in this case up, and you got your privacy for your sleeping. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Every seat in this thing is comfortable. 
lots and lots of leg room see my feet there's plenty of room i'm six one plenty of room from the middle up front and then we're going to go to the back now i can almost stand up you got to duck down a little bit you got your rear air you've got your sunroof just above your head and the driver don't control it the passenger does i don't know if that'll be annoying i think you can i don't know if you could turn them off but uh, you know if the kids are started messing with it or something see that's got a crack mode it'll get you the vent and then second mode will pull it back some and then you can control how far you want it to open uh, i believe that is now i guess they uh cut it off right there you know, you see the movies where everybody stands up, puts their head out the sunroof. We don't recommend that here at Parkway. But if you buy this thing, I can't stop you. $69.9 is your price. Um, I don't know if, I guess, yeah. I asked them, I can get financing on this unit. We tried to find one cheaper and they were in the 80s up to a hundred grand. Uh, the unit's only got 13,000 miles. He just changed the oil not too long ago before he went to Florida. Uh, I wonder if he's liquidating a lot. I mean, he sold a lot of his uh, RVs, but then again, he just bought one and we had it cleaned up. So maybe he's just making room for new stuff. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful conversion van. And I wanted you guys to take a look at it. I know I haven't been making a whole lot of videos, but uh, I do appreciate every single one of y'all that's stayed and watched them. We're going to get better. We're going to learn. We're learning together. Some of y'all like to watch these on TV, and that's absolutely okay. Some of y'all don't hit the like button that don't bother me none i'm not trying to get famous we just trying to sell some rvs and feed our family ain't that right but if you need more information as far as financing options uh, I can pull a factory brochure and really, really dig into the specs on this thing. I know there's a whole lot more to it than just what my basic knowledge is. If you want to uh, give me a call, our store number is 706-965-7929. Operators are standing by. I know, I'll be here all week. But we've got plenty of RVs, campers, fifth wheels, toy haulers. That way, look at that big boy. We got forerunners, we got no bows, we got class A's, we got gas, we got diesel, we got class C's. And there's the busy, busy road of Highway 2. Like I said, you give us a call if you got any questions. You can just reach out, shoot the breeze with me if you'd like. Leave a comment, let me know you watched. And I really look forward to meeting you down in Ringgold, Georgia. Have a blessed day.